Hello, good morning everyone. Well, it's probably not morning where you are, but it is here. And welcome to my channel, my little corner of the internet, or welcome back. Today we're gonna do a morning skincare routine. And mine is really, really simple. My skin here, you can see, I have some redness. I'm very pale at the moment, so a lot of that comes through. And I also have some blemishes, but honestly, my skin used to be so, so bad and it's been so much better lately. So I thought I'd do a little skincare routine and yeah, you can follow along. Just chill on this Saturday morning, which is what it is for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a foaming cleanser. So this is the CeraVe foaming cleanser. This is actually a new find for me. Um, if I'm on the go, I'll just use this little Boots cleansing stick. It's really easy. You just kind of rub it all over your face and then you will um, then you can wet your hands and foam it up a little bit. It doesn't foam up too much, but this you can see foams up a lot. So I'm just gonna cleanse with this. And this is really nice like it doesn't irritate my skin i have kind of reactive skin but funny enough i'm not allergic to anything it's very odd anyway so but it's all everywhere and i'm not in my bathroom as you can probably tell <laughs> but there's nowhere to put this in my bathroom so we're in my room so what we're gonna do is i am gonna take this little mitt it's like a cleansing mitt also don't mind the naked nails so a little cleansing mitt, I'm gonna dampen it in the little bowl of warm water I have here and take off the cleanser. Put my little hand in and then just That's so nice. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna pop on some eye cream. Now with the foaming cleanser, I don't usually tone after it because those cleansers don't really need to tone. But if I do tone, I will use the Pixie, usually the rose tonic if my skin's a bit irritated or the glow tonic if I want just like more of a exfoliation. But we're gonna grab, because it's morning time, just the Boots Glow Eye Cream. And all I do is just pop a couple of dots of this on. And then, rub that in. Very gently with my ring finger. And I'll just get it all over first. And then I'll tap. This just helps with the product sinking in. And you do it with your ring finger because your ring finger tends to have the least amount of strength in it, so you're not likely to hurt yourself or anything. Okay, so eye cream on. Then we're gonna grab the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. This stuff is great. I was recommended this by a friend and I have never looked back. It really helped with my skin, I feel. I got it maybe the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. I'm just gonna dab that in. And honestly, that's when I really noticed a change in my skin. So I would definitely recommend this if you're having trouble with very oily skin or a lot of breakouts. This is very good. And I always take all of my creams and stuff down my neck. And then anything left over, I put on my hands because that's where you find your age most, the most quickly. So that's all in and in the morning times or after a shower, I find my skin is really thirsty. Like it properly takes in that product really quickly. So it's kind of nice. We're then going to take our moisturizer. So this is the e.l.f. Super Hydrate Moisturizer. It's got squalene, 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 that stuff. And it's like a little jelly moisturizer so what i do is i just take my lash applicator and i scoop a little bit out probably far too much but like say in the morning times i find my skin likes it and then just lightly rub it all over 
this moisturizer is so nice. I even put it on my eyelids there because it's just super hydrating and it just feels really nice on the skin. I have very oily skin, so the tendency with oily skin is to avoid moisturizers because you don't want any more glowy products on the skin. This is just so nice because it's a gel. It sinks into the skin and you don't have any kind of residue. It's just really nice. So last step is I'm just grabbing some Carmex lip balm. I always put lip balm on. When I was a kid, I used to get that really bad, like chapped lips. It wasn't even in the winter time. It was just whenever ever the seasons would change. So I would always recommend lip balm. I use it all the time and that's it. That is our skincare done. Now, our skin is perfectly prepped now for any makeup, so I'm probably gonna film a little makeup look, but this is it. And if I was going out, honestly, if I'm not wearing any makeup, my skin is fine like this, I might curl my lashes and brush through my brows. But other than that, it's like nice and clean and delish. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you liked it, give it a like, recommend anything below. I could do a nighttime skincare routine, but it's fairly similar. We just switch out a couple of the products and yeah, that's that for me. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.